Hello everyone, my name is Yash and today we will solve a sample paper from class 10 maths for board exams 2023. So let's start. So the question says that LCM of two numbers is 14 times their HCF. So we will write LCM is equal to 14 times HCF. Then it says the sum of LCM and HCF is 600. So LCM plus HCF is equal to 600. Now, since LCM is equal to 14 into HCF, so I can write instead of LCM, 14 HCF plus HCF equals 600, right? If this is equation one, this is equation two. From equation one, substituting the value of LCM and putting it in equation two, we get this, right? So 14 HCF plus HCF is nothing but 15 HCF, which is equal to 600. So my HCF is equal to 600 by 15, which is nothing but 40. So HCF is 40. Now, since we know that LCM plus HCF is 1600, so LCM will be 600 minus 40, right? Which is nothing but 560. Now we got the LCM, we got the HCF and one number is given 280. One number is given. 280. We know the relation HCF times LCM is equal to number 1 times number 2. So our HCF was 40, LCM was 560, one number given is 280, let other number be x. So to find x, I will divide 280. right we all know that 28 times 2 is 56 so the other number is 40 times 280 so my answer is option number d clear next question so 2120 is divisible by 2 again divisible by 2 530 Now it's divisible by 5. 53 is a prime number. So we can write the factors as 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 53. 2 is getting multiplied 3 times. So I can write 2 cube into 5 into 53. So my answer is option B. Right? Next. P and Q are zeros of the quadratic polynomial 2x square minus 7x plus 3. Find the value of P plus Q minus PQ. P plus Q <clears throat> is sum of zeros because P and Q are the zeros given in the question. So sum of zeros is given by in a quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c equals zero form. Sum of zeros is minus b by a. In this case, what is my b? 7 with a negative sign. So minus b will be minus of minus 7. And my a is coefficient of x square which is 2. So my answer will be 7 by 2. Yes or no? Right? And product of zeros is 3 by 2 which is nothing but pq. pq is c by a, product of zeros is given by c by a, which is 3 by 2. Now it is asking me to find the value of p plus q minus pq. So what is the value of p plus q? This is nothing but 7 by 2 minus 3 by 2. 
which comes out to be 4 by 2 which is 2 so my answer is option number B which is 2 next number 4 the pair of linear equations is so there are two linear equations given and we have to find whether it is consistent inconsistent dependent consistent or none of these so we know the criteria if I write the equations a1 by a2 b1 by b2 c1 by c2 if I check if I divide the coefficients of x y and the constants I will get 1 by 2 here 1 by 2 here 1 by 2 here so this is the case where a1 by a2 is equal to b1 by b2 is equal to c1 by c2 this means that these equations have infinitely many solutions right so in this case they are called as dependent consistent Next, number 5. Points are given A, B, C, D. They are vertices of parallelogram A, B, C, D. The values of A and B. So, we have to find the coordinates of the point C. So, to do that, first of all, we have to make a diagram. We have to make a parallelogram. The coordinates given are 3, 1, 5, 1, A, B, and 4, 3. Now, there is a property which says that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. If I make the diagonals of a parallelogram BD and AC, and if they intersect at point O, they will bisect each other. AO is equal to OC and OB is equal to OD. So, <clears throat> this point O will be the midpoint of AC and BD, both. I will find the midpoint of AC and equate it to the midpoint of BD because both the midpoints are same, common point O. So, to find the midpoint of AC, the midpoint formula says X1 plus X2 by 2 and Y1 plus Y2 by 2. This is for the x coordinate and this is for the y coordinate. So my x1 is 3, x2 is a divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2. And if I consider this is for ac, midpoint of ac. If I consider the same thing for bd. I will get 4 plus 5 by 2, 3 plus 1 by 2, which is nothing but 9 by 2 and 4 by 2, which is 2. So my x coordinate is 9 by 2 and my y coordinate is 2. Now I have to equate the x coordinate and y coordinate. So, my x coordinate here was 3 plus a by 2. I have to equate this with 9 by 2. So, what will I get? 2, 2 gets cancelled. 3 plus a equals 9 or a equals 9 minus 3 which is nothing but 6. Right? So, clearly we can see that there is only one option which has a is equal to 6, no need to solve for B. If the options given will have A equals to 6 in the other options also, we will definitely find out the answer for B. Okay. Next is question number 6. If ABC is similar to DEF, BC is equal to 3 cm, EF is equal to 4 cm and area is given 54 cm, find the area of DEF. So it is given that the triangles are similar. When triangles are similar, area of the given triangle divided by area of the triangle which is similar 
is equal to the square of the sides the proportion of square of the sides which is nothing but 54 by area of def 3 square by 4 square so 54 is equal to 9 over 16 by area of def so area of def will be cross multiplying we'll get 54 into 16 divided by 9 9 6 are 54 16 times 6 is 96 centimeter square okay remember this next question number 7 seek a is given 15 over 7 and we have been given that a plus b is equal to 90 find the value of cosec b so first i will make a right angle triangle since a plus b is given 90 therefore it is right angled at c right so seek of a seek of angle a what is seek seek is nothing but one over cos and cos is nothing but base by hypotenuse so this will be hypotenuse by base so hypotenuse by base what will be base this will be my perpendicular because we are considering angle a so my base will be this seven now i have to find cosec b i have to find cosec b so cosec b is nothing but one by sine b which is nothing but hypotenuse by perpendicular so in this case my perpendicular is 7 and my hypotenuse is 15 so my answer will be 15 by 7 only option number d okay next number 8 in triangle abc right angled at b ab is equal to 5 centimeter and sin c is equal to half Determine the length of side AC. Let's make a right angle triangle first. So we have been given AB is equal to 5 cm. We have to find AC and we have been given sine of angle C as 1 by 2. This is nothing but AB by AC right a b perpendicular by a c so simply substituting the value what is a b 5 so a c will be cross multiplying 10 centimeter option number a okay next question number nine question number nine so in triangle abc d and e are midpoints on side ab and ac respectively such that d is parallel to bc if a is equal to two centimeter ad is equal to three and bd is equal to 4.5 then what does ce equals so there is a triangle abc we have been given d and E are midpoints of AB and AC. So D and E are midpoints AB and AC. And they are parallel also. So AE is equal to 2. AD is equal to 3. And BD is equal to 4.5. We have to find the value of CE. Now since they are midpoints and parallel also. So we can say that the sides are proportional. In triangle ADE and triangle ABC, AD by BD is equal to AE by CE. So AD by BD is equal to AE by CE. So we can easily get CE by cross multiplying. 2 times 4.5 is 9. 
9 by 3 is nothing but 3 centimeters. So my answer is C. Now number 10, ABCD is a trapezium with AD parallel to BC. So AD parallel to BC. AD is 4 cm. Diagonals intersect at O. So the diagonals intersect at point O such that AO by OC and DO by OB is half, then BC equals what? So we have been given AO by OC is equal to DO by OB, which is half. So we can say AD by BC is equal to AO by OC because we are considering the triangle AOC. We are considering the triangle AOD and BOC. AOD and BOC. When the sides are in proportion, the third side will also be in proportion, right? So this is also half. And we have been given AD as 4 cm. We have to find BC. So BC is equal to 4 times 2, 8 cm. Okay. Option number C.